Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today we are starting a, uh, well, a new game, uh, well, a new old game even, uh, Simon the Sorcerer 2. Um, now this is again you know, the, the sequel to uh, Simon the Sorcerer 1 and as I've mentioned countless times before, uh, Simon the Sorcerer's 1 and 2 combined are my uh, favourite um, point and click adventures of all time. Um, I probably After Simon's 1 and 2 I'll probably put Broken Sword just under, just after that. Now this one though as well is voiced by a different actor. It's not uh, Chris Barry of uh, Red Dwarf fame. Um, I don't actually know who does the voice for this one, um, but it's it's still full of the same sarcasm, cheek, you know, the standard British sort of stuff. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how loud it is. I haven't done a sound check. I haven't even played the game on iOS because I will add as well. We're playing this on iOS. So I've got the. I'm playing it on my phone here on my desk. Uh, which is streaming to my Apple TV, which is then being captured and then streamed back out. <laughs> Just for that extra complication to things. Um, as I haven't even fired up the game, so I don't even know if this port is broken. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's all, all good fun. <laughs> And hopefully as well, uh, Royalty will find some more characters for you to paint. <laughs> There's uh, a few dotted around the screen there that you can see there as well. Um, you got uh, well, Clipso in the top corner, who uh, we had to rescue in the first game. He was the wizard that uh, whose house that we raided. Um, 
there's a pirate fella uh, on the bottom there, uh, minor character. Uh, you also see uh, on the bottom corner as well the um, the two demons, uh, Belch Grabber and Snob Fondle, if you remember those from the first game. And as well, a new character who pops in, the genie, or uh, judging from the bottle, it's a gin e. <laughs> but we'll get this one started. Um, there's a, a an intro sequence, uh, as normal, I won't talk over that because I want you uh, to be able to see and hear all of that as we go. Um, and also, uh, watch out as we go through the um, the intro, because for those of you that have been paying attention, um, the you'll discover where I got rule 10 for the Discord from. Because <laughs> there's a line in here that is stuck in my head all the way from the 90s when this game came out. Actually, when did Simon this before? Actually, press go. I just got a 25 year anniversary there. And I actually spoke to Chris Barry uh, on the 25th anniversary because he was at a uh, a Comic Con that I was at because <laughs> I, I got signed my Simon the Sorcerer poster. <laughs> uh, let's see, Simon the Sorcerer two, the Lion, the Wizard, and the Wardrobe. What year did it come out? 1995. <laughs> okay, here goes. I'm gonna bring up the desktop audio there. Um, I'll turn off my microphone and I'll start the intro sequence. Uh, as a see if we can spot where rule 10 from the discord came from a lonely farmhouse in another world several months ago a young boy named runt is dabbling in the hidden arts of magic this is the real dramatic bit so make the most of it is a magic book, isn't it? Mm, yes, Father. Where did you get it from? I bought it from a man in the village. It used to belong to a powerful wizard called Sordi. I thought I told you to get these ridiculous ideas about magic out of your head. Now for the last time, you'll work on the farm like your brothers. But, Father... No buts. I don't want to hear any more about it. Yes, Father. And as for this... No! I'll deal with you tomorrow. If I was a powerful wizard like Sordid, I'd show him and my stupid brothers who's boss. I could conquer the world. <gasps> Who are you? When I was alive, I was a powerful sorcerer. Are you Sordid? But I thought you were the danger. I am. But with your help, I can live again. If you do as I say, together we will conquer the world. You'll teach me how to be a wizard? You shall be my apprentice. What do I have to do? Let me explain. Several months later, Sordid's newly constructed Fortress of Doom. Trespassers and sarcastic magazine reviewers will be burnt. Hey! 
<laughs> Master. What is it? I found you, Master. Look. Excellent, excellent. How are you going to get him, Master? With uh, this. What do you think, I? <laughs> it's a wardrobe, Master. Exactly. Pardon my ignorance, Master, but... <laughs> it's not really a wardrobe, fool. It's a magical transportation device. I read about something similar in a children's book once. I see, oh devious one. When Simon steps into it, it will bring him to me. And then I shall live again. <laughs> What the hell is this? I'm fed up of people dumping their rubbish in my room. I wonder what's in here anyway. I can't see anything. Oh, it seems to go on forever. Sorcerer fans, what do you think of the new outfit, eh? Wicked! Time tomorrow, ladies. Turning over, Broomy. There's no way of escaping the law, Luke. Wanna bet, Sheriff? Oh. Higher. Oh, yes. It's a hard life being a computer game superstar. To make your fruity sponge cake, you will need one pound of mixed fruit of your choice, the sponge mixture we have just made, and half a pint of fresh cream. Now mix it all together, making sure it is fully mixed. Preheat your oven to gas mark 6. Place bowl in oven. Pop to the fridge, will you? I fancy breaking the ice cream gluttony record. Good man. Give it here, will you? <laughs> I hope you realize this means war.
Here, Broomy Broomy. Where are you, Broomy? Aha! I guess I showed him. We won't be short of firewood in a hurry. Sorted's Fortress of Doom. I cannot believe it! What's wrong, oh magnificent one? That infernal wardrobe has appeared somewhere else. Things like this always happen to me. All my life I've been plagued with ill fortune. It all started when I was a baby. And my, my father used to... Master! <laughs> yeah. uh, sorry, where was I? <laughs> Ranting and raving, oh benevolent one. Oh, yeah. Send the golems to go and get him. <laughs> They're gargoyles, oh all-knowing one. Golems, gargoyles, same difference. <laughs> no, master. Gargoyles have wings and no chin. Just get on with it, will you? <laughs> yes, oh patient one. I'll get you, boy. If it's the last thing I ever do. You are the final ingredient I need for my plan to come back from the dead. <laughs> Master. <laughs> All right. What's going on? Ah, Simon, I'm glad to see you're all right. Don't get personal with me, Grandad. How do you know my name, anyway? I'm Calypso. Remember? You saved me in the last game. You mean this is a sequel? I'm afraid so. Terrific. Well, that's today knackered for a start. Okay, mate. Who needs rescuing this time? I'm here to save the day. Again. I didn't bring you here. You came in that. What? The wardrobe? It may look like a wardrobe to you. That's because it is a wardrobe. It is, in fact, a magical transportation device for crossing dimensions. Obviously, someone sent it to get you, and for some reason, it brought you here. Okay. I can dig that. Can you get it to send me home now, please? It's not that simple. How did I know he was going to say that? In order to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of power, we'll need some pretty special fuel. It's called mucosade. Mucosade? Uh, don't you mean... It's the most potent source of raw energy in the world. Okay, where can we get some? Unfortunately, it's extremely rare. The only place they might have some is the castle treasury. Right. I'll repair the wardrobe while you're gone. Doesn't sound like this one will take too long. Where's that bloody castle anyway? So good, we now have control of, uh, of Simon. 
uh, just looking at the interface here, the base is much more well, it's sort of like a, a high resolution sort of uh, input they've got down here as opposed to the original artwork, but the game itself is still the original artwork. I wasn't playing it with them stupid filters on. <laughs> but just going back to where uh, all the bits and bobs just from uh, whilst, you know, whilst I had the microphone turned off during the intro. Um, yep, he, uh, he, he does have a, uh, a ponytail now, uh, something that will get uh, the mic taken out of him probably very soon. Um, I just had to rub it around as well. I, I completely forgot to get a notepad out because there's a couple of little things that we'll have to, have to like jot down as I go. And, uh, and, 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 and in answer to uh, Chris's question, we'll probably say yes, including the bounciness <laughs> before I get hit. <laughs> And um, I, we'll have to try and work out what age he is in this. Because um, <laughs> I can't can remember how old he was in the first one. I, I kind of think off the top of my head now. But uh, before we get started, um, I'll just go through the, the basics of a point and click adventure. We have in the center this ring here. This is going to be our inventory as it fills up. Um, and then uh, we have all the different actions. So you know, you've got like talk to. Um, where uh, I should that's pick up that'll be use uh, look move open that's possibly pick up as well oh that'll be give give in the bottom corner that one's pick up yeah <laughs> and we can flag different things around here in the environment uh, so we click look at and poster it says there's a magic tournament being held to find the new royal wizard. That'll be relevant later on. And uh, oh, that's another thing as well. I jotted it down on me on my notes here as well. Um, that um, uh, record that was in the uh, middle of the intro there. Uh, I could definitely go for that. The uh, the ice cream gluttony world record. <laughs> but we're going to walk off to the castle because there is, um, we might as well gather the information from the guys at the castle, first of all. See, rather than having the postcard as well, we have, I'm gonna let me scroll. Oh, how do you scroll on this? All right, right, I see now. This is the, the town uh, where we'll be doing the first section of the game. Um, Right, so you have to click at the top. <laughs> I'm usually doing this with a point and click interface. <laughs> but you see here, these are all the different places that are all dotted around that we're going to be uh, exploring across the uh, the map here. Well, let's go to the castle first. Uh, I've got my pen here. Because we need to write down some currencies. <laughs> Oi! You! Who, me? Ah, you! What? You can't hang around here, me! Why not? This is the royal castle, you know. So? Hanging around here is prohibited, okay? That means you don't do it, right? So, beat it, if you know what's good for you. But I really need to get into the castle. Well, well, well. He really needs to get into the castle. We'd better let him in, then. If he has the proper identification. I think I've got a, a library card somewhere. I think you're missing the point, Sonny. We're talking about the proper identification. What sort of identification? Well, $24 should cover it. Plus expenses, obviously. Let me see. Armor polish, uh... Sunscreen. Sunscreen, stamp duty, castle tax, drawbridge oil, the list is endless. In total, we'll call it about $78. 
I'm new here. How much is a dollar? Basically, one dollar is made up of 256 pence. Sixteen of which make a groat. And sixty-four of which make a crown. Two crowns make a queen's shilling. And three crowns makes a king's shilling. Five dollars makes one silver sovereign. Three of which make a gold sovereign. And forty-five dollars makes one royal crest. Simple, really. I hope somebody was writing that down because I couldn't get all those uh, exchange rates in and we need them for one of the quests. <laughs> Where am I supposed to find that kind of money? You could win it. Or find it somewhere. Or inherit it. Or be given it by slightly insane people. There's lots of ways. <laughs> given it by slightly insane people. We'll get onto that soon. <laughs> if I give you my autograph, can we call it quits? Are you famous or something? Forget it. I tell you what, get us the money, then we'll call it quits. All right, I'll get your money. Don't be too long. After all, inflation is an ugly word. It's good to see the guard setting such high moral standards as an example to citizens. Hey, kid! Hello? If you need to earn some cash, the king's looking for a new wizard. Why don't you check it out? The tournament's being held in the park in the center of town. Looks like there's some good in everyone. That awesome royalty you got, you got it all down. <laughs> right, where should we go next? Um, see, that's Calypso's shop. We get the manage, uh, manager tournament. What's? I think that's the Morris dancers down here. But we'll do that quest now, just so that I've got it handy in the. Um, uh, so we'll go to the, the market. Ah, oh, cheating royalty. <laughs> uh, right, let's talk to... I was looking, in the original artwork, it's a mouth, and I'm looking everywhere, it's this question mark thing, it's the, the talk thing now. Greetings, humble purveyor of metalware. Greetings, traveller from another dimension. How did you know that? Simple. Only girls have ponytails in this dimension. The hits just keep on coming. Let's try and talk to him again. <laughs> Hello again. Hello. How's the ironmongering trade? It's still as red hot, cool and trendy as usual. It's the money that's giving me problems at the moment. How's that? Well, since the king decided to modernize the currency system, I've been totally lost. I don't understand all these dollars and shillings and things. And now I've got a tax return to fill in and I can't quite grasp it. What exactly is your problem? On tax form 331B, subsection 3, paragraph 4, it states that all figures must be submitted in dollars. I'm not sure if I've converted the other coins correctly into dollars. Maybe you can help me out. If you can make it worth my while. Okay, then. I've got three problems to clear up. Fire away. Right. How many dollars are there in a gold sovereign? Right, what's what we've got here then? Uh, five. Is that right? Gold sovereign. Oh, hang on, I'm reading the wrong line here, am I? Fifteen. I reckon fifteen. That's what I thought. 
What's next? What's 16 groats in dollars? Oh, what was a groat worth? Just seeing there, you, you put it in the thing. <laughs> I'm trying to look, look at the fair, looking through the charts. <laughs> exactly one dollar. I got that too. I've only got one more to ask. I can hardly wait. How many gold sovereigns in a royal crest? The gold sovereigns up there. See silver. Oh, there's gold. Making three. Uh, three, I reckon. I agree with you there as well. Looks like I never needed your help after all. Where's my reward then? You can have this left handed crowbar, I suppose. A left handed crowbar. <laughs> Thanks, a bundle. There's a bit of edutainment for you. Nice, right, so we've got the crowbar now. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to talk to him about anymore. Um, all right, the bit at the back there we'll deal with. We'll, we'll talk to the fat bloke. Greetings, fat bloke. Go away, boy. No one's going to come here with you loitering about. Greetings, fat bloke. Go away, boy. No one's going to come here with you loitering about. Right, so we uh, we can't open up his dialogue yet. <laughs> Probably no point going to the joke shop, yeah, I'm afraid. Let's, let's uh, get back to the map and we'll go up to the, uh, the tournament. It's... Uh, Talk to the fella at the front. Excuse me. Yeah. What's with the circus tent? This marquee is where the king is holding the trials for the post of replacement royal wizard. Would you like to enter? What happened to the old one? It was terrible, really. One moment he was kneeling in front of the king to be knighted, and then he must have slipped or something because the next he was accidentally, tragically beheaded. You'd be amazed how many times that's happened. So, do you want to enter? Does a spider have six legs? Of course I do. Actually, being of the class Arachnida, the common spider, Arachnida vulgaris has eight legs, arranged in four jointed pairs, these being located on the thoracic region and have... What in heaven's name are you driveling on about? Sorry. I used to lecture biology at uni. Was that interesting? I only did it for the sex education videos. Hmm, I see. Now, do you want to enter the tournament or not? I don't know. What do I have to do? Fill in an entry form and then try to be more impressive than the others. Do you want to enter or not? Go on then. Right. I'll just need a few details. Name? Rivet. Sex? Sex? 
Sorry, you're not really my type. I'll just put mail, shall I? If you like. What's your date of birth? It was a Tuesday, I think. Okay. Go into the waiting room and listen out for your number. Your number nine, okay? I am not a number. I am a free man. I hate people who can shamelessly quote in public. Oh, yes. Well, you see that dog poo? That's you, that is. That's your favourite food. Just shut up, will you? It already is. I think the competition is a little too stiff for my liking. So we have to clear all these people out, uh, but we don't have the tools yet to do it. Uh, the only one that we'll in the end be left with is uh, the fella with... Um, uh, that's sneezing there. He's the only one that's going to uh, uh, be left, but we'll, we'll get past him later on. Right. Ooh, two seconds, because my uh, phone has gone into uh, thingy bridging mode. I can't get any nearer the than this. Some idiot's built a wall in the way. Two seconds. Uh, what I'll do is. This conversation's off to a flying start. Uh, would you like to hear a joke? I don't know. Is it any good? That's why I'm telling it to you. I'm working on some new ones because my old ones weren't funny. Okay, fire away. Right, uh... What do you call a man with a seagull on his head? A prat? Cliff! Get it? Cliff, see? <laughs> because seagulls sit on... I get it. Ha ha ha. I've got another one. What do you call a man with a shovel on his head? You don't call him anything. You just laugh at him. Doug! Doug! Yeah, because he's got a shovel on his head. Shovel! Doug! Doug! See? I think I may have spotted the problem with your jokes. Hang on, I know this great story about butter! Sounds more interesting. Go on. I can't. You might spread it around! I can't believe I walked into that one. So, what do you think? You've got big problems, mate. These jokes wouldn't amuse a little and large audience. Oh, looks like I'm finished then. That's life, I'm afraid. You win some and you lose some. Now, we will have to provide him with a joke book because we need the bladder off his uh, thingamajig there. 
Uh, I don't know if we can open that yet. Uh, can we use the crowbar with that, actually? Use crowbar cover. Might as well unlock these little bits here and there as we go. Even though we don't have uh, a means to light up the sewers yet. The amount of times I've played this game, I can remember all the little bits and bobs. <laughs> Apart from the currency conversion. <laughs> I don't know. Have you got any mucus aid lying about? I'm afraid not, sir. Is there anything else I can help you with? What is this place? This is the Sunshine Loan Agency. Money lending with a smile. Some of the rumours about us are wildly exaggerated. What rumours? They're mostly exaggerated, as I said. Especially the one about the Muldoon family massacre of 74. Are you interested in a loan? What sorts of loans are there? Well, there's your basic traditional or pound of flesh loan. Further up the scale you've got the relative collateral loan. Then there's the medical experiments loan. The first time buyer slavery option loan. We can usually tailor one to suit our specific needs. What's the pound of flesh loan? That's our most basic loan. We'll lend you 2,000 pieces of gold. And if you don't pay it back, we can take a pound of flesh, including blood and internal organs, from your body. Is there anything else I can do for you? Tell me about the relative collateral loan. Basically, it means that if you don't pay us back, then we send some lads round to butcher all your relatives. Is there anything else I can do for you? Like a win-win. <laughs> Fill me in on the medical experiments loan. Should you fail to repay the money you owe us, we are entitled to use your body in gruesome cosmetic testing experiments. Is there anything else I can do for you? What's the score read the slavery option thing? The slavery option simply means that we are entitled to sell you into slavery should you fail to repay the loan. Is there anything else I can do for you? I think I'll go for the relative collateral loan. No problem, sir. You'll have to have an interview with the boss to sort out your application. You can go through whenever you're ready. I mean, there's not much point in going through there at the moment. Um, there's some other things that we need to we need to collect first of all, so we'll, we'll hang back on that one, on that particular part just now. Where should we go now? Should we go and see the Morris dancers? Or should we go to the docks? <laughs> Oops. Clicked on the wrong bit. <laughs> Let's take a look at the signs whilst we're here. These signs have a very unwelcome feel about them. Uh, what is open on Let's just uh, swipe this fella's mail. Pick up letters. It's too big for me to carry. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it's just underneath. I'm trying to click here with this, uh, like on, on the screen here. There we go. <laughs> I don't think there's any money inside, so there's no point. There we go. Just clicked it. <laughs> it's got the three bears address on it. I can't get any nearer the swamp than this. It's awkward, this one here. Yeah. <laughs> 
Deary me, guys. Do you have to take part in this supremely sad activity? Maybe they don't talk or something. I think I'll watch for a minute. That does it. How are we going to practice now? We've got our entire stick supply. Sorry, Malcolm. Take five, everyone. I'll try and think where we can get another stick. What the point of reality? What's right with Morris dancing? <laughs> now, what is it we use for replacement stick? So I'm just gonna try a little experiment. No way. What if I need it later? Yeah, it's something else later on. I'll remember it when I see it. <laughs> uh, let's go to the docks now. Maybe we need to tap that first. It's a bit awkward when you've got to tie it. Tap. Here we go. Here's Goldilocks. Wait for it to pop out. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here? Looks like you finally caught me then. Hey? Their cop, I suppose. Hey, hey? <laughs> the good disguise. Never seen the prepubescent wizard one before. Hey, hey, hey. Are you going to arrest me or not? What are you dribbling on about? You are the police, aren't you? The name's Sorcerer. Special Agent Sorcerer. I never heard of any Agent Sorcerer. What division are you in? I'm not. I was telling Porky Pies. Oh. Well, leave me alone then. Hang on a mo. Will you please explain what the hell is going on? How do I know I can trust you? My middle name is Trustworthy. Okay, you seem straight to me. What can I do for you? I'm trying to sell this Hawaiian beachwear. Is it black? I doubt it. I'm not interested then. Who are you? Me real name's Mary, but I'm known to the authorities as the Goldilocks. The Goldilocks? That's right. Why are you hiding behind these crates? I'm on the run. They've been on to me ever since the Three Bears job. I'm going to escape on one of these boats. What do you do? You mean you don't know who I am? I'm not from around here. Take a look at this. Wanted the Goldilocks. Charged with fraud, grand theft, resisting arrest, breaking and entering, and being far too clever by half. They're really after me now, though, ever since I've done the Three Bears job. What's the Three Bears job? 
I did over the three bears there. There wasn't anything worth taking, though, after I'd gone to all the trouble of breaking in as well. So I thought, I'll just have a sit down in this chair and munch a bit of porridge. Then I felt a bit sleepy, so I went for a quick lie down. Next thing I know, there's all this cursing and screaming from downstairs. Luckily, I nicked off sharpish or there would have been some trouble. Didn't realise Mr Bear was none other than the Chief of Police. I'm going to escape on one of them boats. If you're in such a rush to escape, why are you still here? I tried to stow away in one of the crates, but I couldn't get them open. Guess I'm stuck here until another method presents itself. I'll see if I can help you with the crates. Thanks. I'd be very grateful if you would. Stay here. I'll be back later. I'll be around. Right, this one. Use crowbar crate. What are you doing? The watch is wearing. <laughs> this is perfect. There's no room for all this lot in here. Thanks for your help. Bye. Right, let's uh, pick up a wig. <laughs> and what else was that there? It gets bigger when you glow in it. Ooh, uh. The rubber dinghy. It's a Goldilocks blonde wig. Uh, I keep looking for the mouth icon, but it's not a mouth icon on this. All right, mate. Greetings, Wana. Yeah, 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 Royalty. <laughs> I'll, I'll try that line on Jane later on, will I? <laughs> you two are a bad influence on me. You knew around here. I just come in from Calamari Man. I've come to this wonderful city to make a name for myself. My name is Umbongo, and I'm most pleased to make your acquaintance. Isn't that an orange juice brand? <laughs> My name's Simon, and I've got a stupid hat. My name means he who drums. Where I come from, Simon is a word meaning rabbit's colon. A favorite delicacy for us. A hat like that symbolizes idiocy in my village. So I'm a stupid rabbit's colon. This is a traditional hero's name where I come from. In my language, umbongo means a blend of tropical fruits. <laughs> my friend, I had no idea you could speak my language. Must be jet lag. <laughs> <laughs> Have you simply come here to get on my nerves? No, Buana. I'm here as a dance instructor. I'm going to teach my special rain dance to the world. Rain dance? Watch this, Buana. With a few more people, I could make it rain over the whole city. 
Then you could make a fortune by selling umbrellas. I am going to use my dances for the good of the people. At the moment, there is no way of guaranteeing rain for the crop. Except when Australia are struggling for a draw in a test match. I think Big Mike's been messing around with my script again. And there's nothing you can do about it since I checked the final version. Simon is an ugly, sad act. And he's still a ver... It's a second-hand joke anyway. It is a shame I forgot to bring my group of dancers with me. Do you have any? To be honest, it wasn't the first thing I thought of when I got up this morning. Keys, wallet, semi-naked dance troupe. I'm sure I had them with me when I left. Anyway, man, if you find one anywhere, then come and tell me. No problem. I would typically run into a troupe of semi-naked dancers at least oh, twice a day. That's uh, no problem, Chrissy. <laughs> To give the uh, give the kitten a big cuddle from her. <laughs> Just head back off the uh, off to the map. Where shall we go to next? Go to the Swamplings. My God! He's gone commercial! I do not believe it! Hiya! Remember me? Remember you? Of course I remember you! Uh, Uncle McSwampy never forgets his customers! No, no, no! I mean from the last game. I came round your house and you made me eat that revolting stew of yours. Uh, sorry? You know, at your birthday party. I was the only one there. Oh, that's better. Uh, I can see you properly now. Your face doesn't ring a bell. You're not one of Steve's mates, are you? Never mind. I got you confused with somebody else. Huh? Okay. You mean from the air uh, from the first one there? Would you like a balloon, Sonny? Can I have a voucher as well? Okay, here you are. And remember, kiddo, have a McSwampingly happy day. I wonder when the writer is going to get fed up of these belittling kiddie jokes. Hey, Sonny! I'd better not hold my breath. Yes? Could you not lord your hair, please? You're putting off the punters. Right. Remember, everyone, all swamp food contains only 20% pure, uh, cow. They are guaranteed to contain harmful colorants and additives. They appear to sell a mixture of swamp and fast food. For a limited period only, as the <laughs> <Yeah, roti. laughs> We need to work out what age he is, exactly. But yeah, he must be... What do you reckon, 15, 16 or something, perhaps? Enjoying your meal? I was. Mind if I join you? Yes, I'd like to eat my lunch in peace before I go back to work. Where do you work? I run the tattoo parlor. I've only got until two o'clock, so leave me alone. When's two o'clock? Look at the clock. 
But that clock hasn't changed since I came in here. I know. Now go away. That's the way to do your breaks. <laughs> May I take your order? Can you tell me where I can find the Swampling? You want to see the boss? Yeah. Where can I find him? He'll be in his office up those stairs. But you can't go in there. It's employees only. Is there anything else I can do for you? Can I use my kiddie meal voucher, please? Sure. One kiddie meal! What flavour shape do you want? What flavours have you got? We've got maggot flavour, suspiciously brown flavour, and nearly banana flavour. Uh, let's go for this one. I'll try the suspiciously brown one. One suspiciously brown? That'll be eight dollars. Only joking. I haven't got any money, really. I'll save it for you, then. Now clear off. At least the service is good. Late teen, is that the only, uh, the only thing that they have on the, um, on the site? I'll have to listen out. It might pop up in the... I wonder who that little weirdo is. Might pop up in some of the other chat memories. Hey, kid! I said, hey, kid! Here you are, sonny! Have a voucher! What an oddball! For a limited period only at McSwamplings, you can get a swamp Just follow back in again, because I can't remember where the kid goes. That odd little kid is at the counter. And he's away. Right, we'll head back out. Now, let's see, we need to knock out the Morris dancers. Oh. Hey, it's that strange little kid again. There goes the kid. Actually, let's go this way first of all, because I'm sure there's something on the bins that we need to uh, to rake around for. It's too big for me to carry. Come down and join the fun at McSwamping. What a waste. There's a perfectly good fishing rod in here. Do some AFK fishing. Free vomit bags <laughs> provided with every great value meal combination. It's a shut metal door. How interesting. I'm a great believer in no entry signs. Right, let's head on back now. For a limited period only at McSwamplings, you can get a Swamp Burger. Swamp Shake. Swamp. Right, so. Let's tap down here. I think it leads to the tattoo parlor. It's locked. It says, Insane Society, and there's an arrow pointing upwards. Let's go to the Insane Society. <laughs> Door. Walk in. Oh. There we go. Yeah, 
It's a uh, home away from home, isn't it? <laughs> Conversation is heading nowhere fast. He looks dangerously weird. He's dressed up like a fly. I suppose you're as nutty as the rest of them. Do you want to know a secret? I don't know. Is it full of raunchy intrigue? I, I c c c can't tell you. I I'm afraid if I did, then it wouldn't be, be, be a, a secret. Fair enough. It's probably just insane drivel anyway. It's a really g g good one. I've been, been, never told anybody before in my whole life. It's okay. I'm not interested. Okay. I c can't t tell you anyway. Hello. I don't think he can hear me. He's taking a vow of deafness. A vow of deafness? So, how do I speak to him? Write it down on this. <laughs> a vow of deafness. <laughs> These guys are dangerously weird. Excuse me. Good herring? Yes, and a fine herring it is too. Lovely. The cod is shining, not a sea bass in sight. But I hear there's a school of low crayfish coming in from the east. You're totally mad, aren't you? Mad? Mad as a March trout, my boy. There is none more loopy than I. Yeah, we need to write that one down. <laughs> I need to make that chat thing in the Discord, don't I? What, 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 what should I call it? Uh, the section <laughs> for putting all of our like daft game quotes in. <laughs> what about the rest of them? We're all mad, you know. Not an ounce of tuner amongst us. Speak to the high frying pan if you think you are worthy. Which one is he? A true crayfish would know. Really? Farewell, and may the mackerel be with you. I'm sure they will. <laughs> right, let's talk to... Actually, no, we need to use... Which one's used again? That one's used. Notepad. With the frying pan man. <laughs> it's okay. I can see you now. It means I'm head of the society. Have a brochure. Apparently, this lot believe that an hour of lunacy every week is stress relieving. They think it reduces the risk of madness in later life. How do you get it on the NHS? So, how do I join? Oh, yeah.
Luckily for you, we have a vacancy as a porridge wearer. Yes, our last porridge wearer was thrown out for trying to get away with muesli. I'd have thought it was pretty obvious. All you have to do is wear the porridge. No worries. Ah, can you guess where we're going to get the porridge from? <laughs> Actually, we've probably got enough tools to do that now. Close, uh, royalty. <laughs> Let's go get a load. <laughs> Open door. <laughs> but we need to gain entry to the house if you remember the security system that they, uh, they had. Ah, Mr. Uh... Sorcerer. Mr. Sorcerer, just bear with me a second. I'm just dealing with a bad debt case. Now, Mr. Sorcerer, what can I do for you? Where does that tube lead to? The uh, Loan Recovery Department for Mortgages. It's basically just a siege catapult up on the roof. You demolish people's houses for being late on a mortgage payment? It's all in the loan contract. Is there something I could do for you or not? You could be the butt of a few cheap toupee gags. I could. And I could arrange for you to be the butt of a variety of surgical implements. So is there anything I could do for you or not? I'm doing a sponsored... Um, uh, sponsoring. What's that? I get sponsored to... Um, get sponsors we lend money here we don't give it away it's for the retired graphic adventure stars pension fund i don't care if it's for homeless starving orphans with big sad eyes is there something i can do for you or not i'm interested in the relative collateral loan hang on a second i'll just find the application form use goldilocks letter on the end tray <laughs> And wait for it. <laughs> I can't seem to find a form at the moment. Would you mind coming back later? No problem. Could the Wi Fi give up again, Roti? Meanwhile, up on the roof. Here's another one. What's the address? The Three Bears, 69, Cul-de-Sac Boulevard. 69? <laughs> you know where it is? Yeah! Fire! Go shot! <laughs> Thanks. That was a three bears place. <laughs> uh, where is it? What's on the next bit, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> so we can now walk straight into the bear, the bear's house. Looks like I've done them a favour. They've left the tap on. Uh, 
a slight dimensional anomaly, I feel. Whoops! I hope it still works. To the top off. <laughs> I hate washing up. Get the gloves. Is there anything else over here as well apart from the tap? I think that's it. Um, would it be use tap? Where is move tap? I wouldn't want them even if I could get them off the sink. Just look at tap first, maybe. One of them is dripping. Close tap, maybe. There we go. <laughs> I think I hear someone. Pa! Pa! Looks like we heard another break in. I'll catch that young hooligan this time. Wait, Pa. It could be dangerous. Stand aside, Ma. I'm trained to handle this. Ooh, heck. Rumbled. Yeah, I'd better hide. Phew. Here I come. It's all clear, Ma. You checked everywhere, Pa? No sign of anyone, Ma. Come in. Come on, Junior. Who's been blowing up my door? And who's been drying out my sponge collection? And who's been breaking my computer? I'll bet I know who it was. Who, Pa? Her. Not again, Pa. I'm afraid so, Ma. Oh, Pa, what are we going to do? I don't know, Ma. Why don't you start cooking the porridge while I think about it? Okay, Pa. I'll just light the fire, Pa. Fire? Ah! What do you suppose that was, Pa? Sounded like rats again, Ma. I needed a bath anyway. Did you hear about what happened to their trace? Oh, yes. It must be terrible for you. They do say the same thing happened to your Darren once. Morning, ladies. Who are you? I'm the handsome one in the middle of the box for this game. It reminds me of our trace. With his hair like that and all. I expect he's foreign what with him wearing his hair like that. Our Trace isn't foreign. And she wears her hair like that all the time. <laughs> Excuse me. Not now, dear. I'm talking to these ladies. Children and they are so rude sometimes. In my day, we were seen and not heard. Especially not after the accident at Tartar's Cement and Toothpaste Factory. I bet he's won a bag of the Tauruses, boys. She never taught her any manners. Are you a Taurus, dear? Uh, no, I'm a Capricorn. Run along now, dear. Anyway, as I was saying... Oh, yes, it was terrible for us. Simply terrible. And you know what she's like. Serious underwear. Let's head on back to the map and we'll go up to the Free Bear's house once again. Pa, Pa, look! There's an intruder in the house. Oh, 
there is, Ma. What in tarnation are you doing in my house? Well, uh, I couldn't help noticing that there appears to be a big hole in your wall. I just thought I'd drop in and mention it. What are you doing snooping around my house? I... Don't give me any of that garbage. But I... You're in league with her, aren't you? You've come here to check out our security. Actually, I... Well... What have you got to say for yourself? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't arrest you right now. Pa, why don't you give the boy a chance? Quiet, Ma. Let me handle this. Well? Can I just have some porridge, please? Trying to change the subject, huh? What subject? Are you in league with the Goldilocks? Who? Her! I think I've got her wig. Let me see it. This is it. This is the breakthrough we've been waiting for. Now we can leave the house without having to worry about her eating the porridge. Or sleeping in the bed. Or beating my high score at Tetris. How can I ever repay you, son? Do you mind if I have some of your porridge? Sure thing. Give him a bowl of your special porridge. Okay, Paul. Come with me. You used to play the uh, Terrace as well, Brody. Have a nice day, son. If fair. Uh... I feel like Simon the Supergrass. If fair. Um, that uh, converter thing for the Game Boy, uh, for the Nintendo, had it worked. I could have had an, uh, could have put my like snares into this, and I've also got the um, it's like a snares cartridge that you plug in, and then you plug your Game Boy games in the top. Because uh, I would have done like some of the old Mario's and the um, Tetris, and you know, all all the old Game Boy games. Cause I've got like a, a collection. I'll, I'll I'll find the picture on Discord later on. Um, oh, I'll, I'll put it on Discord because it's somewhere on my website. Uh, but unfortunately, I couldn't get. I, I went through a cost of fortune in all these different converters. But they just would not work with like um you know the pal and stc signals and what have you that's what i tried doing years ago um like rigging the capture setup but, uh, i spent that much money on it i couldn't afford to, to waste any more money on the capture devices <laughs> Here we go. We're now about to join the insane society, and our life goals will be completed. <laughs> so we're going to wear the porridge. Am I ready to join up now? I've got your membership stuff right here. Hang on while I clean this porridge off. Same time next week! There we go, we are now proud members of the Insane Society. <laughs> Let's have a look in here. So what did we get? $100.
an annoying piece of elastic that prevents Americans falling into rivers. I can't imagine what use I'll have for it. A wedge as well there. A bungee rope. Uh, we can't do any. We can't use the bungee rope to win the swamp, if I remember right. Uh, we can now buy that Happy Meal. <laughs> We should make our own membership card, shouldn't we? Put, put ourselves on them. <laughs> For a limited period only at McSwamplings, you can get a Swamp Burger. Swamp Shake. Swamp. Right, let's go and talk to the fellow and get my Swamp Meal because I can't remember off the top of my head what's in the meal. May I take your order? Have you got any health food? How about a slug burger? Does it come with a free vomit bag? Recycling bags are provided with every meal, sir. You mean you recycle the packaging here? No, sir. Uh, we recycle the food. It's what gives it that special creamy texture. Uh, I think I'll leave it then. Can I get you anything else? I've come to collect the meal I had on reserve. Precious chunks. <laughs> That'll be ten dollars then, sir. But it says eight dollars on the voucher. Holding charge, sir. Oh, all right then. Thank you for calling. Please call again. Let's talk to the kid at the front because I don't think we spoke to him before. All right there. Hello. Going to a science fiction convention? Leave me alone. I've already been beaten up four times today, and someone stole my Unix manual. What's a Unix manual? Just an Amorak catalog. Uh, that sounds really cool. There's no need to rub it in. I know I'm a complete geek. I just don't know how to toughen my image up. You need to rub it in, especially around your nose. Ah, oh, there's no point. Nothing works. I'm destined to be a nerd all my life. Worse things happen at sea, or so I'm told. Nothing could be worse than this. I'm off before you bring everybody down, you whinging loser. Thanks for the encouragement. So what we need to do to get him toughened up is we need to get him a tattoo. But we need to get the tattoo block off his lungs, which means we need to get in the back of the um, the the place. Uh, but I think we need to get like, the costume. All right, yeah, yeah, I don't want to get the costume. Uh, cow. They are guaranteed to contain harmful colorants and additives. Back to the market. We don't have the equipment to do the pet store just yet, but was there anything else that you pick up in the pet shop? Can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, oh, no, sorry, open door. <laughs> when you click on a closed door, it should just be automatically implied with these games, shouldn't it? It's an advert for stink bombs. They're not available yet. I'm still working on the recipe. That recipe involves getting some special stew from the Swampling. It's a laugh a minute. I pick up the junk book. Hey, leave that alone. It's not for sale. It's called Lift Off. That stuff's extremely potent. 16 cans of beans in each capsule. Oh, 
Oh, do you like tattoos? Have you got any uh, any royalty? Let's talk to the joke seller as well whilst we're at it. <laughs> Excuse me. Hold it right there. Can you see this flower? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Is this a trick question? Have you quite finished? Sorry about that. <laughs> it's just my little joke. <laughs> Here, shake. Okay. I'm not staying here to be humiliated. It's <laughs> weird back out. I think you've, uh, you've just got the one so far, but uh, because he won't let you play. <laughs> what uh, what sort of one have you got then? <laughs> so I, I haven't got any. Uh, Jade's got a couple though. Well, if it isn't Mr. Sucker. Mr. Sucker? Watch out behind you! What? See what I mean? There's nothing there! Exactly! You have to be the most irritating person I have ever met! Here's my card! Dr. J. Beagle. Purveyor of jokes and costumes. Costumes made to order. You're a doctor? I do negative psychology. Negative psychology? I'm highly trained to bring out the worst in people! <laughs> Great. Which one you sketched yourself? A few seconds, we know it's starting to run again. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I believe my nose has been running like a tap again for the past couple of days. <laughs> Excuse me. Why? What have you done? <laughs> Can we get to make a swampling costume? Is what we need. Any idea when those stink bombs will be ready? Just as soon as I've formulated the perfect mixture. Uh, I can never seem to get it quite nauseous enough. You should try using your personality. This is supposed to be a joke shop, kid. One more crack like that and I'll have to close the place down. Uh, let's talk to him again. I'm back. Have they made the third game already? No, this is still the second one. I'm sure the punters can't wait for Simon 3. Desperately seeking a sense of humour. <laughs> Will you make me a costume, please? If you can give me a design. It could take a while, though. I'm trying to work out a new formula for stink bombs. Any idea how long that'll be? Just as soon as I've formulated the perfect mixture. Uh, I can never seem to get it quite nauseous enough. You should try using your personality. <laughs> This is supposed to be a joke shop, kid. One more crack like that and I'll have to close the place down. 
Right, so... Um, I'm fairly confident it's the Swamp Stew that we need for... Um, to get the stink bombs and we'll get a sample. And then after that, we can get a Swampling costume. Uh, actually, uh, look at, look at. There it is. Let's have a look in here then. Hmm. There's a big maggot that's eaten my burger, some chewing gum, and a model of the Swampling. Because we'll need the, the Swampling to give him to as a template. Uh, but we need actually oh, can we do that and then we can advance one of the other quests quickly uh, give swapping statue to the joke seller I'm not going to give stuff away unless I need to actually we must have to do that quest yes we must have to do the stink bomb first because then what we do is we go to the uh, the fat bloke, and we can get some uh, material off him to make the costume, and uh, we dye it green. Off the top of my head, I can't remember where we get the green dye from, but it'll come back to us later. <laughs> we'll maybe just head over to Calypso's place if we can. There we go. Because we never did the dialogue lines from inside there, so we'll do his dialogue inside of here, and then we'll probably call it for today. Uh, pick up. We die. All right, if I have this. Certainly. That answers that question very quickly. <laughs> what else was it to click on? Ah, right, right. We can knock out the Morris dancers now as well. Because we have a replacement stick. All right, if I have this. Certainly. There's no point in going in there until I've got the mucus aid. Talk to Calypso. Hi. How are you getting on? All things being equal, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. Are you any closer to finding the mucus aid? I'm slightly further away, I think. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll prevail in the end. Got any hints? No, I'm afraid not. However, if you search within yourself, then you cut it out, okay? I ask for a hint, not the crazy philosophies of a Father Christmas look-alike. Heed my words, bold adventurer, and your path will lead to wisdom and in... There's just no reasoning with him. I'm totally stuck as to what to do. I really wish I could help you, but I'm just a clueless old fool. Never a truer word was spoken. Hi. Hello. I'm searching for treasure. May I have a look in your chest? Rampy told me you were always joking. He told me so much about you. <laughs> Did he tell you I was a grocer with a particular interest in melons? He didn't tell me you were so rude. I'm only just getting warmed up. 
Oh, leave me alone. Is there any more of these lines? If I said you had a beautiful body, I'd be lying through my teeth. Leave me alone. It's <laughs> Simon as Harry. <laughs> Hi. Leave me alone, please. I don't like you very much. Is it hard to walk with that much weight in front of you? Just go away. Back to Calypso. Still clueless? I'm afraid so. Still look like Father Christmas? I'm afraid so. Good. I think we'll uh, we'll go and punish the Morris dancers next. <laughs> and that's definitely where we'll save it. <laughs> and then we'll see how uh, how your egg counts are doing. <laughs> Let's go back to the town square. Because these guys are in desperate need of a new stick. Give stick to dancers. Try that again. Give stick to dancers. There we go. Good idea. They're too stupid to know the difference. Excuse me. I was wondering if you'd like this. Thanks, Sonny. Here, boys. We've got ourselves another stick! This should be a knockout. Okay, lads, let's begin. Oh dear, that's baggered it. We'll have to put the poster up again. There can't be that many dance instructors left in this town. You know who to call. That lot have rung their last bell. There you go. So later on we'll have to come back and get the, the poster that we'll give to uh, the fellow at the docks. So he'll take over the dance troupe. We have a broken drum, which is why we need to get the joke book to get the bladder off the Joker so that we can give it to the fellow to fix his drum. We will then do the rain dance uh, that will then cause a storm which will fill up the sewer to wash away the spider so we can get to the swamp. Perfect sense. <laughs> Let's uh, save it here though. Uh... Uh, say, okay, saving, please wait. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, exactly simple enough. <laughs> yeah, the picture on my on the back of my keyboard is all, all pictures of the girls. <laughs> Same as on the desktop pictures as well. <laughs> Always pictures of the chickens. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you, you saw the picture as well earlier on, didn't you? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where's Discord? <laughs> got the uh it's a uh, uh, casserole's red towel she has that on my you know just in case she was to poop I put the uh, the towel up there uh, she gets excited when i get the towel out because she knows she can sit on my shoulder and then um gravy was going nuts to be on my knee so we've got just uh, like an old cloth i just put on my knee for the same thing and speckled was just cu cuddled in my arms which is, uh, I was able to get some, um, a little bit of fruit juice into her today. 
Um, but she's, she's got to go to the vets uh, tomorrow. So I'm worried about her. I, I, I don't know what he's going to find. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what we can do for my little baby. She's a good girl. Just looking at the picture there. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, what we'll do is we will um, we will end it there for today. Uh, tomorrow uh, we are uh, what day is it? Today? Tomorrow's Tuesday. Yeah, tomorrow we're doing a, a sort of like a toury kind of episode of um, on the uh, on the server. We're going to wander around a few of the builds and what have you. Do a few jobs and uh, maybe mine some more blackstone. <laughs> I'm going to need absolutely tons of it. Um, see how it goes. Mess around uh, to see how things uh, see how things end up. <laughs> but, um, I will find where's the Twitch. There it is. Let's see if there's anybody online that we can go and harass so that you can get your bonus eggs, so that you can perhaps catch up with Chrissy. <laughs> Let's see, we have uh, Vaults playing Destiny 2, or Anita playing uh, Among Us. Yeah, he's probably like 55 million billion eggs by now, I'd imagine. <laughs> no, uh, any, any, any preference uh, for who would go and... Uh... Yeah, want to go to Among Us. I've actually I bought the game, but I still haven't had a chance to sit and play it because uh, I've, I've, uh, I've been spending like all of my entire days sitting with, um, with uh, Speckled. <laughs> but uh, we'll find that up there, and we will return to Simon uh, next Monday. Uh, this game is a lot uh, longer uh, than um, in the original one. Um, it can still be completed technically in a single sitting. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's there's lots of different things. There's like the, the section here that we are. Then there's the the bits in the castle. Then we've got the bits on the boat, the bits on the island, bits where we return, and the whatever the place is called at the end. I can't remember its name. <laughs> Have you not watched anyone anyone play it yet? I watched a couple of videos here and there. I watched outside Xbox do a stream with the dice breakers. Um, uh, people that Johnny from Dice Breakers was uh, was on the stream because um, he, he was referring to the uh, he wasn't calling it uh, uh, Among Us he was referring to the the uh, the, you know, the, the traitors being a, a mungus <laughs> so it's the mungus beach uh, beast <laughs> but uh, I uh, hopefully uh, if I can figure out have a little go playing it we will chuck it into the stream soon because I think it'll be a good laugh to have a little play of it and uh, you never know if you guys like it it's only a couple of quid um, we could all you know potentially if it's any good we could all uh, have a bit of a laugh playing it <laughs> but uh, we'll end it there um, which is I've got the right screen open I haven't pressed any of the deafening buttons today and we haven't had an eight for ages <laughs> But uh, anyway, um, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll be back with more Simon next Monday, and I'll see you all next time. Thank you for joining me today. If you're enjoying our journey and would like to see more, then please rate, comment, favourite, and subscribe in whichever manner your chosen platform allows. If you are joining us on Twitch, Mixer, or YouTube, where we have loads more for you to watch, from our live streams to all our episodes across our various series. You can also drop by and say hi over on Discord, where we chat about everything from Minecraft to books and movies to tabletop games. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching, and have a lovely day.